name is Lara Mamonova and I am an artist. What inspires me to paint, and especially what I paint now, is um, are women, actually. Women in my life, women that I aspire to be like or women that I hope not to be like. Um, possibly traumas that were caused by women in my past as a child. Um, um, femininity, what it, what it is. Um, should I be more feminine, less feminine? You know, what it means to me. Um, what it means to have different emotions, sadness and um, fears and all those things that everyone can relate to. Um, but I search for those things within me and try to understand what they are. Nudity is, to me, a very actually important part of finding confidence in myself. I think being nude is the most honest, most disarming thing. And uh, I only recently, I think, the moment I moved to Berlin, I made a really bold choice to pose nude for a um, fine art photographer. And the moment I did it, something clicked. Something just felt like I found a new me. And it just felt like, fuck this. Like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of hiding? I am beautiful the way I am. I don't need to try to look like anyone. I don't need to... Um, pretend I'm someone else. I am who I am and everything about me is beautiful. I think big women, curvy women, plushy women have to come back and claim their aristocrat um, title in the world of beauty, in the, just in the world in general. I started painting, um, really just focusing on painting when I moved to Italy about six years ago or five years ago or so. And um, I was struggling to find a job. Uh, my husband was working, but I was struggling to find a job. And uh, I decided that maybe it's time for me to focus on um, painting. Um, Italy was a great place to um, take all the time to explore painting. Um, I'm coming from graphic design background, so a very important thing that I was trying to battle is to battle perfection and rules and maybe break them much more and feel much more freedom with mediums and try things. And there were some tears because things were not coming out the, the way I wanted them. And I think really Berlin kicked me in the right way. That's where I, that's, I'm really grateful to this city tremendously. Um, being able to kind of create your own world, find your own people for your world and keep it in, inspirational and exciting. It's very easy here. It is definitely a process for me with every painting is um, sort of a battle. Um, I'm not necessarily very conceptual from the get-go artist. I'm a very much emotional artist, so um, I find something that inspires me a lot of times. It's a pose of some sort um, that speaks to me somehow. And after that, um, I communicate with the canvas and see what it's telling me. I know maybe it sounds a bit cliche, but um, sometimes I block out for like an hour or two and I'm just so close in it and I'm just painting, painting over and over, um, trying to find faces, trying to find body shapes and so on. Um, and then I have to walk away for a while and then I come back a couple of weeks later and then I kind of realize what it is that it means to me and what I have tried to find. She's saying, let me be. She wants to be left alone. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting because you're looking at her, right? Because you want to keep looking at her because she's beautiful. But all she's telling you with her eyes is to stop looking at her. Isn't that interesting? The images, the, especially the faces of the women, um, definitely live within me. It's not, um, I don't like to copy faces. Um, I like to find the face within. Maybe I will use an example to get the right um, shadows and highlights and things like that. 
but a lot of times I'm just finding a face. It's really, it's a very exciting moment for me when it happens. I think the, the face in the painting represents the, perhaps the emotion or memory that it's kind of representing, that's attached to maybe wanting to have freedom to be sad and grumpy looking and, or angry and not be told to smile. And my way of sort of fighting that uh, is to present it as it is in kind of very open way. Um, and it's also my way of communicating my own pain as well, or my own issues through the faces of these women. Um, and none of them, usually, you can't really look at them and say they're happy, but you also don't know because happy has many faces. Uh, actually, I only have two male portraits and it's, uh, <laughs> it's one of my father. Uh, I painted it um, the first two weeks that I found out he died. Um, and this was my uh, therapy. It was quite, I needed to do it to sort of, I felt like I was gonna forget his face. Um, and so I had to put it on the canvas so I can have him with me all the time. And then the very first portrait I made of my husband. <laughs> So those are the only two um, male portraits that I have. Humans, just as we are, there's already so much magical stuff within us that is so complex. And to me, unraveling that is better than any magic show that you can show me. Mm -hmm.